I've been a music producer for about four years now, and although I'm known to make lo-fi music, I've had my eyes set on a certain style of music for a long time, specifically video game music. So much so that I decided to take on a challenge and join my first ever game jam. So now I want to show you how I made the music for this game. Let's check out the first track. This is the first track, this is when you first load up the game and you get given this little story. It's called Tromboom and I'll just show you how I made each layer. So I started off with this piano, which I just used the Noir Pure piano for it. Now obviously, we need a melody with it, so using the same piano, I just created this little melody. Next I just created this bass, just using the bass notes of these with more variation. Next I created the drums, which I just used a preset from Addictive Drums. Then I made a second melody using a trumpet, and I used a mix of swells and sustains. These notes at the bottom here are just key switches to change the articulation. So now these are just sounding all nice together. I really love the swells a lot, it just really adds more feel into it. And then finally, I added a trombone, I believe. And those are all the layers I use for the song, because there isn't much variation, as you can see. It uses the same chord progression throughout, same melody, same drum pattern, same everything, pretty much. So, all together. And now we have this little end bit here. We'll just start from the automation at the bottom. Stacks goes down in volume. Same thing with insert, what was insert seven? I didn't name it. Why did I not name it? Okay, I've just found out I've named these wrong. Um, insert seven is actually a bass trombone. We have our sax and our bass trombone. The sax goes all the way down in volume. Well, not all the way, just a little bit. And then the trombone goes up in volume a little bit and then fades out. So all together. And that's all that went into this track, it wasn't anything crazy, but it just sounds nice. Okay, we've got quite a uh, few things to go through here. As you can see, I use um, a lot of layers. Again, we'll start off with piano. So this is just our intro piano, I put chords and melody both in this pattern. You'll hear a bit of like glitching just because all of this is eating up my CPU. And throughout this whole song, we kind of go with this descending chord progression. With a lot of different variations to that. We've got another one. Those are the three main chord progressions. After that, I worked on a melody. And then the same thing in octaves. Those are the only two piano melodies I use. Next we have the bass, which I just use a soft clipper and EQ. We have this section, which helps with the intro. And then this pattern kind of plays throughout the whole thing, except for when we get to the chorus. This is another bass pattern which we use for the uh, slower part. I 
and then that would lead into the chorus. And those are the only uh, bass patterns I use. Next, violin. I lied, sorry, that's cello. There's only one cello pattern used in this. That's just made to work with the main piano chords. Now we have the drums, just using addictive drums presets and changing them a little bit. So we have this little pattern. Verse 2 does have like variations, but the main thing is the velocity is higher because that's when we start bringing in the piano chords. Just building it up a little bit. Now we have the bridge drums here, which is when we kind of slow down, getting ready to go into the chorus. And then we've got this one that just goes into the chorus. Finally, we have these drums for the chorus. With the layers that I've shown you so far, it just sounds like this. Next, these are staccato violins, which just follow the same piano melody. They follow the piano octaves. And then next we have the trombone, which does the same thing, just follows the melody. So all together. We just have this section left to go over. We have two more patterns and just a couple transitional elements. So this is what it's like just without the transitions. So what I did is I created this reverse piano to go into this chord. Then we have this reverse crash into a normal crash. So all of these together. And he does a nice job actually transitioning through. Also, if you are enjoying this explanation, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing, as it does help me a lot. Anyway, we have the last two patterns. So for this pattern, I used a choir, which I actually took from the Undertale sound font. Finally, this pattern is more cellos. You've already seen all of these layers, they're the exact same as before. As you can see, it's eating up my CPU. And then to finish everything out, I just made this little outro. Just finish it out with that little nice chord. Which is literally just a C minor chord, but stacked on top of each other, just in octaves. And that's pretty much the whole track. I went through so many different variations of this. If you want to listen to this music, I've put it on my Bandcamp, which I'll put in the description below. And if you also want to play the game, I'll put that in the description too. And that's all, so if you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something through the way, please consider dropping a like and subscribe, as it does help me a lot. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you.